on your mark, get set, go. Hey Dave, when did you know that Jenna was the one? December 27th at 5.30. I'll never forget the date or time. Wow, that's pretty specific. Did you use a pickup line? Tickle me this, bro. Have you ever wanted to grand theft auto an actual car? Wow, that's a pretty aggressive pickup line. How did you end up proposing? And in and, and like the most epic way I possibly could, I said, I've got an opportunity that you will smack your mom to be a part of. Oh my gosh, what did she say? She didn't see it as brilliant. She was like, you are going to die. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but it'll be fun. So did she say no? My wife's like, Ur, you know, and I'm like, oh, and it's, it's you know. Oh. Okay, uh, change of subject. How are you hoping to interact with the Pacific Northwest culture? Through my broken Espanol. Once you guys make new friends up in Oregon, uh, what kind of stuff do you think you'll be doing together? Uh, my ladies out there, uh, anybody, would you do a spa day or something like that? Sure. So you're moving out to the country. What'll be some of the first things you buy? Pitch forks and axes and, not axes, and clubs, and swords, and torches. Dirt, grass, mud, sand, waste, etc. You've got it all. Okay, but it's a pretty small town you're moving to, right? How are you gonna know when you get there? We were gonna put cones in the road and you had to swerve in and out, but we didn't do that. That's when all of a sudden I said, oh my gosh, I've missed it. Dave, what are your plans during the summer on your way up to Oregon? I've got a little bit of free time. The whole break, it's all about relaxing. It's all about chilling on the floor. But I just don't have the time. So you do or don't have time to get on the floor? Making time to get on the floor. Is this some sort of dance floor or yeah. something? What I'm about to do, you don't, you're, you're not going to understand it, so just let me do it. Join me on the floor. So do you want us on the dance floor with you? If I've done these things, how much more so should you do these things? I don't know. To know something and not act upon what you know is the effective equivalent of not knowing at all. Okay, fine. What's your favorite Bible verse? <laughs> when the devil rose from supper. I don't think that's in the Bible. Hey, Dave, do you feel like you know of anybody that could potentially take over your role here? All the small group leaders are like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Would you say that's fair to assume? Nope. Mm -mm. And we all know why. Okay. Uh, Dave, if you could create your own superhero, uh, what would he do? A little bit of context for you. Chacos and Jandals. Now this changes the game right here. In fact, I'm gonna say he can fly for like three weeks. He can do whatever he wants. That's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Uh, listen, Caleb and I are really gonna miss working with you, Dave. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that one, Nico. Will you miss working with us? Anytime you're in a situation like this, what do you do? You just change locations. Oof. Uh, okay, Dave, what did you think about the last time I taught on John 19? I apologize if this is offensive, but I said, son of a biscuit. <laughs> really, it's just crumpled. You think my teaching is crumpled? Yeah. What are you most passionate about teaching on? Gozo! 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 Do you mean gozo, 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 like in mi corazón? Oh. My. <laughs> gosh. So, what do you wish HSM knew about you? I. I am a fool. <laughs> By definition, I'm okay with it. I'm admitting it. Okay. You're not blessed to know that. Does that make sense? No. Uh, Dave, I'm really struggling with something. Could you pray with me? Sovereign Father, we thank you and praise you for how good and gracious you are to us all the time. Guide us as you so see fit. This isn't complicated, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mm. Uh, Dave, what's your fondest memory with Jenna? Several years ago, we we're around the Austin Ranch area-ish. By the grace of God, this guy got underneath our car. We zip tie everything that was falling out of it. Wait a second, you zip tied someone underneath your car? It's an invitation, if you think about this. The guys in the car wash were thoroughly confused. Cause anyway, you don't need to know that. Dave, that is kidnapping. He's an idiot. We're screaming like girls, like we're having a great time. This is so fun. Now we're making a lot of noise and you know, there's some construction workers and some security guards nearby. And so we're like, 
They might have called the cops. So the U.S. government got really mad. And they were like, homeboy, you lied to us and the American public. We're going to sue you. We're going to kick your butt on this. I'm texting the fellas. You boys better pray so hard right now. I don't care what you've done. You better pray. I mean, it was a spiritual moment. So why do I tell you that story? We all know. No idea. You didn't deserve it. All right. Uh, Dave, loved your message last week about Jesus telling Peter to feed his sheep. Uh, one question, though. I don't have sheep. I have a carp. Wait, what? I don't have sheep. I have a carp. Well, are you planning to feed any sheep? 550. 24-7. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Well, Dave, thanks so much for your time. We love you, and we are so grateful for all that you mean to this ministry. Mm-hmm.